welcome back to another video and today we're going to check out all the new features in adobe xd's latest release i am super excited right now you can make out from my voice because there are so many awesome things that have been launched um in adobe max so without further ado let's just get started with it i'm i can't wait the first thing that you will now notice in adobe xd when you open it are these new uh, you know tip section which is get started with components explore join our community these new uh, Visuals that you'll see on top now if I go into a, a normal web artboard in this um, There are no particular changes off top if you can notice one change that you can notice is this share button So if you want to share your design you can take a look at all the sharing options right here in Adobe XD without any pop-up opening and um, you can create a new link or you can manage links from here itself and you can give this a title you can choose what purpose you want this for so it could be for user texting it could be for presentation it could be development and it could be a custom viewing experience so this is a really cool neat feature to have a unified place to uh, for all your links uh, so the next cool feature is of course the hover animation everybody has been requesting uh, for this and the great part is now hover animation can be done with one single artboard you don't have to create multiple artboards just one single artboard will create this rectangle we'll put this in the center we'll maybe make this rectangle a red and without creating another one what we'll do is first of all make this a component that's one step you have to do to you, so you can right click, say make component or just use the shortcut which is command K. Uh, make it a component as, as you can see it's been added as a component. But there's a new uh, section on top here which says component and it says default state. So now what I can do is create multiple states for uh, the same rectangle. And for this one I can give it any name, I'll keep it at state 2. And if I want, uh, and I can edit each state and see how it goes. So, so what I'll do is I'll make this rectangle really big for sure. And uh, maybe I'll make this, uh, you know, like a blue. Yeah, or maybe a purple. Yeah. So this is state two. And if I click on default state, it'll switch back to this red rectangle. Now that is pretty cool to be honest. Um, and how does hover work? You have to switch to prototype while default state is selected click on this arrow right here and from the trigger options there is now a new option called hover oh i'm so excited um, if i click on hover and i can either choose between transition or auto animate we'll go for auto animate and we'll choose another state so this can be any of the states that you've made so state two and we'll choose maybe ease in out and 0.4 seconds now if we play the prototype, if I just hover my mouse, see how it seamlessly goes from state 1 to state 2. So uh, with default state 2, we can go to prototype again and in default state 2, we can click the arrow here and we can auto animate hover seamlessly to our state 3. Now that is pretty cool. Uh, let's try this out. Let's try the prototype out. And if I just hover on this once, it'll change from this state 2 to state 3. So you can have multiple states that you can switch between and you can choose to hover between any of these states. One more cool update is when you go to Adobe XD's uh, plugin manager right here, there is, a, uh, there is an all new app store like interface uh, for XD and this is pretty cool. Uh, you see your featured um, articles and editor choice uh, so as to say plugins right here. And this is such a cool interface for all Adobe XD plugins. By the way, I have a new video with all, Ado uh, with all the new Adobe XD plugins on the channel. I'll give a link in the description, go check that out as well. So another cool feature is that when you go to save this, so if I say, uh, I'll just save this as untitled one, right? And I'll save it in the cloud documents. I go ahead and then make some changes to the documents. Maybe I add another state. Maybe I change the color for this. Whatever changes that I've made, there is something now called document history, which is a much awaited thing. 
and it's uh, something that we've seen in some other tools but this is now a very welcome change as you can see uh, the same document has been saved with different versions i can actually open this uh, open in a new window and i can open different versions of the document right inside adobe xd and this is one of the coolest and most useful features that they've brought in kudos to you adobe xd i am so proud of adobe right now i can't even tell you guys for the next feature i've created this uh, cool circle here and i've given it two different states so the first state will be a bigger circle like this and i place it in the center of course and state three will be the same size of circle but maybe a pink perfect so the default state is this basic blue state two is a bigger circle and state three is pink now i can add multiple interactions to the same circle and how do i do that i go to prototype and i select the arrow i just click on the arrow and i'll say uh, hover and choose a state i'll choose state two which is this big circle and ease in out 0.3 seconds i can actually choose another artboard where maybe there's a different state for this which is state three right so if i go back to prototype and i click on this plus sign um, and i say key and gamepad a and i choose this second artboard on clicking a it will go to the second artboard and on hovering on this it will become bigger it's confusing but let's see how it works if i play the prototype i hover over the circle it becomes big and if i press a the same circle will change the color now th uh, this means that you can have multiple interactions for the same element without adding a multitude of artboards which is a huge problem in adobe xd before now there are a couple of new cool features as well uh, which is mentioned on the website i will link the um, i will link the blog article that they've written for the new update so that you guys can read through it and maybe get a deeper perspective my fellow youtuber dansky has done a uh, component feature video so go check that out as well uh, because we we uh, design youtubers have got to stick together also check out all the other new features that i haven't been able to cover yet but i will cover in the future check out all my other videos and subscribe for more awesome tutorials and design videos just like this one i'll see you in the next video god bless